वेलकम टू माय चैनल आर एल डी एकेडमी दिस इज ट्यूटोरियल नंबर फाइव ऑन ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस प्रॉब्लम नाउ दिस इन द सर्किट यू विल सी दर इज वन ऑप एम्प एंड वी हैव टू सोर्स बी वन एंड बी टू दे आर कनेक्टेड टू Inverting and non-inverting terminals through resistance R one each, and the output is taken from here. Here you will see two resistances R two R two, and here also it is R two R two. This end it is grounded, right? And in between here, this R G is connected, but obviously it is not connected to this terminal. It is by first one. So between these two nodes, this R G is connected. Now we want to find out the out expression for output V naught in terms of V one and V two. And we want to prove that this V naught is two times R two upon R one times one plus R two upon R G times V two minus V one. And you can see here, this V naught is proportional to V two minus V one. That means the difference between non-inverting potential to inverting potential. Thus, this circuit is one difference amplifier with this gain factor. So its gain factor is two times R two upon R one times one plus R two upon R G. Here you will see this R G. Okay, this R G we can vary, and if we vary the R G, we can vary the gain factor. So this is one advantage of this circuit. We can have different amplifier with variable gain. Though R G is in denominator, it is not purely linear. But with the help of only one of them, we can design a variable gain different amplifier in this way. so this is one difference amplifier with variable gain in with single of amp and next lecture we'll discuss one circuit for different amplifier with variable gain with two of amps there we'll find that that rg this gain is proportional to rg okay now let us uh, concentrate on this circuit first now uh, first we used to compare with standard different amplifier and in, you know that in different amplifier these two resistances are one or two here it should be r1 or two then the output voltage is given by r2 upon r1 times v2 minus v1 so here gain is r2 upon r1 now if we want to vary the gain then we have to tune either r2 or r1 but You have tune these two resistance simultaneously, okay? If you want to modify R two, but it is very difficult to tune both the resistance simultaneously with same proportionate. Thus, uh, there should could be some mismatch, and you will find that some gain, not only differential gain, some common mode gain at the output end. So this is the problem with standard different amplifier, and. This one, you see, here we have said that this R G is was used. We can vary this R G because there only one resistance R G connected here, and using that we can vary the gain factor. Okay, we'll try to discuss that this uh, circuit in detail here. Now to solve of and problems. Uh, we are using the four concept again i will repeat here these four concepts are first one is virtually connected so means this v minus and v plus will be same if circuit is having one negative feedback means from output end to negative inverting terminal there is a connection and the of m is ideal one with infinite voltage gain second one 
is the current entering or leaving to the off amp is zero so here you will see no current can enter or is leaving from this side because of high input impedance of this ideal off amp so i minus and i plus these two are all zero amperes okay due to high input impedance and third one is standard inverting amplifier so inverting voltage vi is connected here and v0 is output voltage then gain v0 upon vi equals to minus rf by r1 so minus indicate that gain is negative okay so means if you apply positive input at the output end you will get negative output like this and vice versa fourth one is standard non inverting amplifier their input voltage vi is connected to non inverting terminal and that time gain is 1 plus rf by r1 positive gain and gain factor is 1 plus rf by r1 so whenever we will find this kind of circuit we can use it okay let us consider this circuit closely okay so we have two sources and our output is v0 and rg is can this is an important thing is rg is connected here so these two terminal okay v minus and v plus so what we'll do first we'll consider this potential is v plus and this potential is v minus this is your v2 prime this is your v1 prime okay and there is no current entering here no current entering here okay that first we are assuming that already you have discussed this one now with this information we will try to find out this v plus and v minus in terms of the sources v1 v2 and node potential v1 prime and v2 prime let us see so this v plus you see v plus we can find out in terms of v2 and v2 prime so you see this end potential is v2 this potential node potential is v prime and there is this uniform current is flowing in this circuit same current is flowing through r1 and r2 because there is no current branching here so v plus we can find out easily considering superposition principle when v2 is acting alone v prime v2 prime i can consider short circuit and in that time the potential v plus is potential across r2 so that is r2 upon r1 plus r2 times v2 similarly when v2 prime is acting alone that time v plus is potential across r1 that means r1 upon r1 plus r2 times v2 prime so this one you can also find out using kcl here okay similarly you can find out v minus same thing so it should be r1 upon r1 plus r2 same factor with v1 prime and again same factor r2 upon r1 plus r2 times v1 right now so these are the two expressions v plus and v minus now we know that with negative feedback because this is your negative feedback so from output end somehow it is connected to inverting terminal so there is a negative feedback here okay so due to this negative feedback the of m is stable and gain is finite and in that case you will see this potential node potential v plus and v minus they will be virtually connected so v plus and v minus they are same now then we will equate this to so this is your v left side is v plus and this side is v minus so you see denominator r1 plus r2 it is r1 plus r2 everywhere it is there we can cancel then we can rearrange this one so this term we can bring it to the left side and this one to the right side then after simple simplification what you will get you will see this r1 times v2 prime minus v1 prime equals to minus r2 times v2 minus v1 so thus v2 prime minus v1 prime we can express as 
minus r2 upon r1 times v2 minus v1 right so we are getting the difference v2 prime minus and v1 prime in terms of v2 minus v1 with the gain factor minus r2 upon r1 this one okay so we'll be using that value okay now i'll consider this to note this node is a and this node is b and we'll try to use the kcl at these two nodes a and b let us see so applying kcl at the nodes a and b so at a if we use what you'll get this node potential v2 prime this potential is v plus so this side current is v2 prime minus v plus upon r2 this side current is v2 prime minus 0 upon r2 and this side current is v2 prime minus v1 prime upon rg so these three currents addition is 0 summation of these three currents are 0 ok so this is this one so you see this first component this branch current this one is this current and this one is the current through this R2 to the ground. So the, that I will call it equation number 1. Similarly, at node B, you will get this equation V1 prime minus V minus upon R2 and second term is again this current V1 prime minus V2 prime upon Rg and this one is V1 prime minus V0 upon R2 that is equals to 0 so here V0 it contains output voltage V0 and we wish to solve this two and then we wish to get a solution for V0 so what I will do we will simply subtract equation number 2 from equation number 1 ok this thing will do so if I subtract second one from first one so and we'll consider that v plus and v minus same so first one it will v plus v minus will cancel so you'll get v2 prime minus v1 prime upon r2 so you see this this is the subtraction so first term will become this one and second term will become so this one and second term is becoming this one so this two times because same thing v2 prime minus v1 prime here it is v1 prime minus v2 prime so it will become two times of v2 prime minus v1 prime of rg and here you will see v2 prime v1 prime difference of r2 and last component is minus minus plus so v0 upon r2 equals to 0 so we can find v0 upon r2 in terms of others okay that we can simplify so you see this is the equation now we will simplify this one so this v2 prime minus v1 prime everywhere the numerator that we can take common so this one and this one is same thus it is 2 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r2 is 2 upon r2 and here it is 2 upon rg ok v2 prime minus v1 prime plus v0 upon r2 equals to 0 we can simplify it further so v0 equals to then minus 2 times 1 plus r2 upon rg ok because r2 you will multiply so first uh, here this r2 will cancel here it, r2 upon rg it will come and 2 is co taken common here it is v2 prime minus v1 prime and you see v2 prime minus v1 prime already we have obtained in terms of v2 minus v1 so you can replace this thing here so this is this one after replacing v2 prime minus v1 prime so this minus minus plus ok and 2 times this is r2 upon r1 times 1 plus r2 upon rg times v2 minus v1 ok so this is the gain factor so it's a difference amplifier and rg it contains one of resistance rg which we can vary 
but uh, yeah, it is inversely proportional. So if we reduce the gain Rg, if, if we reduce the resistance value of Rg, then gain will be more. And when Rg is more, gain is less. Okay. Thus it is proved. Okay. So next video we will consider a different, different kind of circuit containing two of m for variable gain defines amplifier. So if you enjoyed this video, you can subscribe my channel and for subscription, you can press the subscription button and then you should press the bell button as well, then only you will get immediate notification of my future videos. Thanks for watching. I hope you are going to subscribe my channel and I will be uploading lots of videos in this channel. So keep watching. Thank you.